Your store manager near Chico State's campus says he's seeing an increase in fake IDs. As Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson explains, he has a zero-tolerance policy that, if broken, poses big consequences for his business. Brian? That's right, Alan. Whereas he says he would receive thousands of dollars in fines, community service, even possible jail time for selling to someone with a fake, the person with the fake faces a much smaller fine and the loss of their license for a year. And he sees that as a simple slap on the wrist. Starlickers moved from here to here, a couple hundred feet away two months ago. Since store manager Powen Pobby says things have been going great, but he's not happy about fake IDs. Unsurprisingly, he sees more fakes when Chico State students return, though he is surprised he's already had to take away 22 so far this school year. But it's too many out, you know. But we are not going to take a chance on it. We are, if we find it, we're going to call the police. That is, if you don't listen to his first request, leave. Most do, says Pavi. Last week, while ABC went undercover at his store, one didn't. The ABC was watching me outside, argument with the, that guy. And finally he said, okay, don't call the police, I'm leaving. He left, he got arrested in my parking lot. Three years ago, Pavi says he handed over 448 fakes to Chico police. Last year, he only took away a couple. This year, very bad. First week, 15. Next week, seven, seven IDs. That's, I think it's more than one is too much. It make me mad. Mad because he says it puts everything at risk, his job, even his family. Pavi says with his experience, he can easily spot a fake, whereas gas stations and grocery stores can't. People shaking hands, why? Their lips shake, shake, shaking, why? You know, that means something wrong there. He also says it's about the feel of the ID 